Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm here with the third part of my little spiral bound, bound journal. The spiral will go on there. Um, so now we're looking at um, the little bits of decorating. So we're doing some tabs, some labels, some stamps. So you did see these labels um, last yesterday um, and I put one on the back. I realised afterwards when I was taking the photos that I hadn't added the word um, and I said I would show you how I made them. I think they're really cute. Um, I thought they were an absolutely amazing idea when I saw them. I've used them on a few pockets. I'm just now flicking find another pocket where I have added a tag there I've added a tag there and that one's um, got colour in the background really like that one I picked out a stamp that matched that and yeah got another one there that one I turned into a, a little pocket as well to stick a couple of things in uh, that was all I made wasn't it so I'm going to show you how to make them and they're really really easy and I watched I found someone new to watch you know you get a bit bored watching all the same people and I do get a little bit obsessed and like to uh, watch um, lots of journaling videos whilst I'm whilst I'm creating or lying in bed and this was Seven Plaza I will link her video down below so she used as her background bit of her um, stamps some um, scrapbook paper but I decided to just do two layers of coffee paper and uh, so I I did mine I thought I did it as an, an inch and a half but I actually did it as an inch wide but so that's the outside and then for the inside so that's an inch and a quarter wide for the inside I'm going down to an inch the outside I did three inches, the inside I did two and three quarters so I just came down a quarter of an inch so that they would layer nicely together like that. So you can see how you could use pattern paper, you could if you've got nice I mean, I'm, I'm doing this one, I'm going to stamp on it, but I can see I could easily make this with pattern paper. I may do a pattern paper one whilst we're doing it. And then we've got to make those nice little corners. And I took, which is what um, she did in the video, is that I got, a, I just did a very small cut on a credit card to make some little corners like that to cut the corners and turn it round for each corner so that it matches there we go So that gives us our lovely label shape. I've got lots of Tracy labels and they're like this shape. So it's what we're used to seeing and it's what turns out to be like aesthetically pleasing. So that's that. And then for the inside, she, I believe, used the same corner, but I didn't like the look of that. So I wanted to make it smaller. So what I did was I went to the other corner of, of my credit card Thing. and I just moved it slightly so that I knew it was kind of the same angle and I cut a smaller one you can see there I cut it so it was a bit smaller when I did that for the inside I just felt that that matted better And that's how I got. And then once you've got this, you can make it out of any paper. You can 
do any form of decoration that you want. You can put words in it. You can collage it. You can do whatever you want. So there they're ready. I just had a massive sneezing fit. They're ready now to decorate. So I say some of them, I changed the background to a colour um, and, and some are left as they is. So to decorate this, I used this stamp here from Ranunculus Romance. You could use, um, so you could cut it out of paper and then then it wouldn't it wouldn't matter so let's bring in bring in something to stamp on um find my ink pad I'm, I'm i'm getting to the point where i'm crafting myself into a corner and i can't see anything <laughs> there we go it's what happens when you're doing because i'm videoing this so it goes out sort of one a day until it's done and um I do find out yeah there we go so that just in the middle you sort of miss the ends but I can put a little bit of extra on each of the ends to elongate it and then just do some inking around the edges Oh, that's juicy. So and this is just thin coffee paper, coffee dyed paper. You could use um, other paper. And then we just glue those two together. And you've got the start of a lovely tag, which you could then add whatever you wanted to. So that's a little label to stick somewhere in my book. Now, the one I used as a pocket, I would probably use something stiffer, although once those are glued together, it will, when it dries, look a bit stiffer. Let me bring my book. So on the one on the back there, you saw me in the last video add, add that to it. Um, I'm going to put a word to it, which I did actually get out. I just obviously completely forgot to then stamp it. So it is somewhere around my desk, mounted, ready to go on. So I'm going for always remember. That's just what I found. So we'll put that on. So just got a bit of, bit of scrap I've been using. So we'll just stick it on the end here. That'll do. And then I'm going to take my long scissors to cut this. So I'm just going to follow the straight line. Of the word. Got always remember to stick down there. I just ink around it so it stands out. You could always, if you've got a kit with words in, I do have shed loads of words. You could add one of those. But if you've got nice little stamps, you can use that instead. 
You could stamp numbers, do all sorts on it. Make it your own. So that's that one finished. So let me find one of the other labels and where they go, because I am kind of mirroring. Right, there's that one that I coloured. I've got another one that I didn't colour. Not, not that it's a problem. I can still colour now. So let's do that one. So that's... Find the page that it is. that page so that's the page that I'm doing there so we can use the same one but it needs a bit of color behind which I haven't put in yet but that's not a problem so Get my rich razzle gray so that it matches. I do quite like how that's turned out. Let's get a little bit of rich razzle gray around the edges there. I did do it before I stuck the top down. But It's okay. There we go. We'll have that. And I picked out one of my words I've previously done. So I didn't have one ready made. So this is this is the um, set I use. Um, it's a very old stamping up set. And I just love these um, stamped words. So I've got Inspire um, mounted there. And um, I thought I had, you know what I thought did, don't you? I thought I had a little strip of an edge of a book page. There, that's better. And I can stamp it in a soft suede. There, like that. So then I just took my little ruler and just ripped these. So that's, that's that done. And then obviously we're just going to ink around the edges. And I did find a nice postage stamp. Let's decorate. I could add one of the little flowers like these ones in the background that's quite nice might do that because I'll probably stamp that image like I did there so that'll work well so this needs just a little bit of distressing on this one actually I put it behind and then added the stamp but I'm just going to I'm just going to stick it there, like so. So that's that. So then we just want to stamp the little flower on there. There we go. Thought that was a nice little touch. Opposite that goes with that flower there quite nicely. So I'll do another label. Um, I'll do the one that I put with this um, with to make it like a pocket. So I'll make it out of something a little bit um, a little bit stronger. I'm going to do a little bit of inking around the edges it does look a bit 
a bit plain. I haven't done too much inking on this project. So I keep having to stop the video because I keep sneezing. So I think, so this is the sheet where I cut those big flowers out of. So I think we might take, I thought it was quite a nice colour. Oh, I could have sneezed again. So I think we might take a bit out of the corner there. So we'll do the same trick as we did before. So I just wanted to show you the other way so you can you can see how how cute they look. So that's our, our little label and then we need a label topper i do have one that i made but i've got a feeling this is the big one. Oh no it's perfect so that to go on the inside and then i'm going to do a little bit a little bit of inking make this look less bright Stress in here. Stick these two together, and that's the basis. And this this is actually thicker tea dyed paper as well. This is one hundred and twenty GSM. So, whereas the other one was literally copy of paper. So this will make for a nice, a nice sturdy pocket front, a little tuck. Now that's nice. And then we're going to decorate it. Now, the way I decorated the other one, was again with another one of those words and a flower one I did put a little bit of cheesy cloth across it so let's pick out a nice flower that will go got a bit of cheesecloth if I choose to use that don't want a yellow one let's have a little purple one well, that's cute we'll have that kind of similar kind of similar might use some cheesecloth Keep it out in case. And then we want another word. So I'm just sticking a bit of cheesecloth on here, which I've dyed with avocado, just to add a little something. It's quite thin, so it doesn't add too much bulk either. And you'll see that I ripped this using the little credit card thing, but I couldn't find my ruler. I don't know where it went after the last time I used it. It's not the best tear thing, but when it's quite fragile paper, which this is kind of worked so that's that so to make it a pocket we're just going to glue down the three edges and I'm going to glue quite a thick because it's only a little tiny tuck and I'm going to stick that on there 
and it can have little things going in there. And I just picked out ephemera that I had ready-made for going in there. But I could put a little tag. I've got some nice tag dies. I might make a nice tag. So I've got this stained card. I think I did this with inks. And um, I cut them out of that. And I can use these little flowers to, to decorate. So I could put one on there that matches that and then uh, put a different one on that one or the other way around to make to make my tags. I think that would be cool. So there they are cut out. Nice and cute. We'll just poke that, poke that there. And they, yeah, they'll look grand, 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 grand. So I think we'll put that one on the little one. I think we'll go for that. Um, we might put a little bit of cheesecloth. Yeah, like it. Like it a lot. So I'm going to, I'm just looking to see if I've got any. Any tops ready and I do. Got two there. Save a bit of time. So we'll just get all that stuck down. So I'm gonna just go around the edges. So that's the, the little tags made. I think they turned out really well. So they'll go in that pocket there. Probably stick that down a little bit better, although I'm not bothered. Might just take it off. Super. And there, and there, take that little bit off. There we go, so that's that page. So I want something on here, and that was the other thing I wanted to show you in this um, video, was how I made my faux stamps. So I've got, I made them two ways. So I made them like that, and I made them like this. And I've got loads, but I thought, as I was making them, it was like, stop making them. Let's show everybody how I did them. I've made faux stamps before. Um, so I just, sometimes I just look at a piece of paper and I think, oh, I can make a stamp with that. So I may, I use the off cuts from what I scan and cut again. So I don't like wasting things. So that was the sheet that I scan and cut the, the small flowers from. And there was these partial ones around the edges. You can see that's where I took them from. So I can make stamps out of this. So I took my rectangle postage stamp punch. And I just went along the bottom to see which, which stamps I could use. So I thought that was one of that one. So although it's quite a large rectangle, I'd say it is possible to just um, make 
make them smaller. I'm going to just snip up there. So I can come in here for that one. Don't like the way that one's cut off. So that that will do. And I do have um, somewhere. Um, I can't see it at the moment, but you could. I'll just do it on the post-it here. Because I can't find the templates I've already made. So I've got a load of templates, all my punches. Don't like post-it, no, it's too thin. I normally put something behind it. Anyway, give you an idea. So you can go around the sheet and, you know, any sort of sheet that you might have or you might have a book like this, this book here and you could go to an image in the book and think oh yeah that would make a nice stamp or that would make a nice stamp and you can go and just sort of isolate the images like that am I still in shot yeah and um, sort of work out what what things might look like but I've got it on cardstock. I just can't actually see it at the moment. Right, so now we've got these. So that was the cut out from the other side. So that needs correcting because it's going the wrong way. So I'm just going to push it back into the punch. And punch that way. And then it's all going the right way. Some of these haven't got punched edges because that was the edge of the paper. So again, just go back in and that gives us our punched eggs, uh, edges. I mean, some people have scissors that have this edge on them. Um, I've seen people use those hairdressing thinning scissors, which I really like the idea of. And I know I've got a pair of those somewhere in the house, but can I find them? No. No, I can't. But I've got this punch, so, and I say, I can make stamps any size, any size I want. There we go. So that's, that's my punch done with for now, until I do the other one. So that was, that was that. So... They're all, they're all ready now to have some embellishment on. Actually, I will do the other one. So the other one just took, I might take a thicker piece. Yeah, so there's that thicker paper. And I uh, can do a full size one with that, that'll do. So then I did some, some stamping on them. So I used, um, from Ranunculus Romance, I have my postage stamp one, I've got my little label, and I did put some little numbers on them as well. And I got the numbers from my Days to Remember stamp set and the little circle from that, if I get the stamp set. So I've got this stamp set. So it's got, that's, it's for making calendars and the stamp is clever, you can make every month. And we've got a little circle there that you could stamp on the calendar for special dates. So I 
isolated numbers um, for for going on the stamp. So I just coloured in a number. There we are. And I just stamped it in the corner. Okay, and then we could choose a different number, but you have to clean it off in between if you're then going to go to a different number. So yeah, clean it off um, and then we can use a different number. Go over to the other side. And so I'm doing these as if these were the price of the stamp. There we go. So they've all got a number now. Don't need my pen anymore. And then I've just used the circle to go around it just to sort of isolate so it looked, so it stood out. You could leave it without, but I've got a circle, so I thought I'd just do it. That gives us a little bit of a price. I say it's just a matter of looking at your stamps and seeing a different way of using them. There we go. Or it could be like in an old fashioned um, sorting office. They might come in and sort of ring them manually and go, oh yeah, that's definitely got the right, the right price on it. And then on these big ones, I did put um, flower in the background. So I might stamp off. Don't want it quite so dark. So I need a bit of paper to stamp off on. Let's stamp off twice. Yeah, so we've just got a bit of a, a ghost going on there. There we go. Like that. I have got a bit, a bit red. A bit red. Right, so now we're going to do some stamping on these. With all the postmarks. I do think these make really cute stamps. So these can go wherever. They can be partial. They could be fully on. They don't have to be straight. It's as if you've got somebody in the post office just randomly stamping everywhere. I used to love playing post office when I was a child. And then... Um, with a stamp to randomly stamp, imagining I was in a post office or a bank. It's one of my favourite games. And I remember, so anybody watching in the UK in the north, you ever take your children to Eureka in, um, was it Halifax? And we used to play, we could play 
was it was it, it was a bank i think wasn't it a bank in a post office so the kids could dress up in uh post they could dress up as postman pat well it wasn't postman pat it was real sort of post posty um outfits and they'd go around and they'd deliver letters and there was a bank and oh i don't know about the kids but i loved it i absolutely loved it so i could leave those like that or um add add a flower yeah, I loved, I loved you. Was it? Yeah, it was Eureka, wasn't it? Loved it. We went there loads. You could do the news. You could be newscasters. They look cute. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Could, you could you could be on a ship, couldn't you? It was a, a yacht, and you could put your life jackets on, and you could raise the mast. Great day out! A brilliant playground outside as well. Anybody else take their kids there, or is it still going? Do you still take your kids there? So then I'm just going to put a bit of ageing around these stamps. And what I often do with my stamps as well is I put them through an embossing folder. I didn't those others because I thought oh, I'll do it when I'm videoing it. Just to make it look like they've been through the post. You could leave them nice and clean if you were doing a non a non grungy one. They still look cool like that, but that's grunging. I've got a gazillion used stamps, and I still make faux ones. <laughs> But I just think it's great use for those little cutouts. So that, that page, you just get so much out. I only cut the one page out because the second page I used actually in, you know, as a page in this journal. So that one page has gone a very long way. So we just stick these down. Although I do quite like them, just with the stamping, they look cool. And I should have stuck them on first before I stamped, because the postmark's underneath. Don't really matter. Don't really matter. I forgot that as I was as I was stamping, it was like, boom. So we can see on that one, I stamped over it, whereas on that one, it's behind. Don't matter. Don't matter, they're fine. So I say to add the final touch to them, you can put them through an embossing folder. I've got, I've got one here that makes it look like um, this is like a paint textured one and it gives it a look of being crinkled and I've got one here that's like typed worn so all I do is lay them in an embossing folder Go. I'm going to lay those ones in this embossing folder. 
fast forward if you've seen me do this before. A bit late now, I should have said that. Because I have made loads of faux stamps. Roll over. Three in the bed and the little one said, roll over. Roll over. Yeah, put you that way. Fit it on. Yeah. So I'll just run those through my embossing folder. So they're, they're all done. You can see from the back of them that embossing. But I do think that makes a really nice, really nice look to the stamps. Gives them a little bit of texture, a little bit of something else, which I think is worth worth doing. Sometimes I stick them on like an old envelope and rip round them so they look like they're just ripped off the envelope. I've done a video on that before. And then these ones, I do have an embossing folder that is old paper. But that got retired, so I've got this one now. And um, that's what they look like. And you can add a little bit of um, ink to it to bring out that embossing. So it shows up a little bit more if you want to or just leave it so a little bit of ink in and it does show up a little bit more i don't know if you can see that i won't do them all but i might do a few there they can see really well on that one i think so that's that and uh if we look at this page, I stuck it. So I chose a stamp that I liked. Got a little bit of cheesecloth. Chose one of the purplier stamps. And stuck it on. Simple, nice. There we are, so that's that. That's that page done. Right, so let's have a little look, see on which other pages need decorating. So this was the other page that I decorated and I used um, a stamp on and I cut a tab to, to match here. So quite like that one there. And I just cut a few tails out of um, something I don't have to do that I can add something else and I need um, a tab for here and I realize that these are going to get the spiral is going to come down there so I need to cut this slightly smaller it's a bit too big so I'm just going to trim off a little bit more especially if I want to put a tab on it it needs to be a bit more trimmed off there we go, and I cut the tab out of this paper. So on here I match the flowers. Let's see if I can match the flowers on here. Um, not really, but I've got the right colour there. So I might punch my tab with that. It's gonna go the wrong way. Might come in there. I could, of course, just used any paper, but I thought it was a nice little touch if they match a bit. Like that, liking that. Um, oh, and I did a bit of stamping. As you can see, and I put a bit of this in the background actually. So let's just. That's better. Oh, 
that'll be nice. And then we'll get the same flower, I think. I'm going to right. That'll do. That'll do. Lovely jubbly. So that. It's the last thing I've got to do. I've got plenty of those now for other things, which probably won't be used in this project, but I can use it in another. It's nice to create a stock of things. And that, I think, is everything that I wanted to show you in this video. The labels, the stamps and the tags. And then in the next video, We'll decorate the envelopes. So there's a few envelopes. Um, we'll do those. And I realise I probably have to have a fifth one of the finishing touches. And putting a spiral on. Which I just hope works. I haven't even tried it. It's a, it's a long... I mean, I've done them before. But it's a long time since I've used... I'll bind it all, so I'll just open it don't go all pink tong. So that's that's that page done. So hope you enjoyed that. I love the labels, but um, but um, Seven Plaza um, told us about. I just think they're absolutely real they look great as a little pocket we've done quite a bit today haven't we lovely faux stamps from those labels and then we've just done a little tab so there we go coming together coming together really nicely so it's just the envelopes left so next time we're gonna do these envelopes, that one's quite simple, probably quite bad for explanatory. And then this one here as well, I'll show you how I, how I did that. Okay, hope you join me then. Uh, it should be tomorrow, I'm kind of doing these every day. Um, so yeah, do join me for that. <laughs>